Hello, and welcome to another episode of Unusual Instruments. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Jamie, and I'm also here on behalf of the Newport News Parks Recreation and Tourism Instructional Programs. On today's episode, we're going to do Concertina and Friends. Well, technically, there's only one friend, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at our first instrument, which is not going to be the concertina. We're going to save that. We're going to do the friend. And the friend really has no relation to the concertina. This is kind of a mixed bag type of episode. These instruments are not related in any way. And what we have is in a bag. We're going to pull it out. One of my favorites, this is... Needs a little fixing up here. These things get loose. They're actually tied on with a leather strap. So they do come loose not, and have to be tightened and adjusted periodically. So we've seen in a previous episode some Native American flutes. And this is also a Native American flute, but this one is different. This one, if we look here, has two barrels on it. And it has two holes. I don't know if you can see those from there, but it has two blow holes at the top. It only has one set of fingering holes down the side, though. So this is what we call a drone flute or a double flute, a Native American double flute. And the double means in the drone, basically the same thing. The drone, let's talk about that first. The drone a drone, I'm saying the word drone a lot, a drone is a note that's always the same. If I blow on the left side, aside from uh, blowing harder and making that note go higher, which isn't always easy to do, That's all I can do to that note. There are no fingerings to change that note. That's what we call a drone. A drone always plays the same note. The other side has fingering holes. And it's just like playing one of the other Native American flutes. Hold on a minute. I need to adjust. That's why it's important to make sure these things are in the right place, that they're tight enough. Or things don't work right. Let's try that. So that was each side of the flute. I haven't actually played them together to get the full sound. But let's take a moment before that and let's talk about the whole combinations. If you were paying careful attention, you will have noticed in the previous video where I did Native American flutes that some of them had five holes plus the thumb hole. No thumb hole, sorry. No thumb hole. I'm getting confused. <laughs> Recorders have thumb holes. These don't. So uh, most of them have five holes. Some of them have six holes. This one has six holes. The holes at the bottom, if you can see those, those are decorative. Those don't actually do anything. But there's six holes in line here. These six holes... And those with five holes do basically the same thing. If you watch me play, most of the time, this finger right here stays down and that hole stays covered. The five holes don't have a hole here. And that's because these are what we call pentatonic instruments. Pentatonic means five, five notes. They, they play five notes. The pentatonic scale, there's a very specific interval between those five. It's the same sound you get if you play only the black keys on the piano. Okay. 
And th those are the five notes of the pentatonic, pentatonic scale. Now the sixth hole allows you to play other notes that are not part of that scale. Um, those notes would not be playable on a five note flute. So you can hear there's more notes available. Now, some of those high notes I could have still played in the pentatonic scale, but some anytime you saw this finger up, those notes were not available on a five note flute. All right, now let's hear the really cool stuff, which is when you play both sides together and you get the drone sound. First, uh, I gotta make sure they're in tune with each other, which is related to whether these are lined up right. Yeah, they sound like they're in tune. All right, let's see what we can do. I'm just being stupid now. So that is the Native American drone flute or double flute. There is also a Native American triple flute that has two drones. I do not have one, sadly. Of course, the more drones you have, the more they're going to cost. I say this is one of my favorite in my categories of unusual instruments. Or remember, again, that means less common. So again, a drone just means it's going to hold out the same sound. Uh, one place you may be familiar with those is in bagpipes. Bagpipes have several drones. That's what makes the bagpipe sound. And then one part that you play on called the chanter. And we saw a chanter practice instrument in one of the earlier videos. So that's it for the Native American double flute. Let's move on. But before we do, let's have our usual commercial. Stand by for a message from Newport News Parks from Rec instructional programs. All right. So we are trying to get started in our classes. We're trying to get them online now that we can't do them in person. And if you would like to learn the guitar, the ukulele, the piano, or computer animation, we have those classes. We have affordable classes. It's a great way to learn. I'm your instructor, by the way. So check those out. Um, let me also say, because I usually do, that this is not, obviously this is not an instrument that I do not play. A lot of not in that statement, too much negative. Um, but I do play this instrument, so just, uh, it doesn't quite fit in saying unusual instruments that I don't play. But like the other Native American flutes, I do play this. However, the next instrument I don't really play. And let's take a look at that. All right, so here's our next instrument. If I unhook it here, and the strap's a little broken. Pull it out, and you can see it makes sound, because I was hitting a button by accident. If I don't hit the button, it doesn't make sound. Mm -hmm. This, you might be thinking, oh, I know what that is. That's an accordion. Nope, this is not an accordion. 
but it's understandable why you might think that. It sure looks like a little accordion. Accordions, where's the bypass? Accordions have that kind of motion. But what makes this different is that it doesn't have a keyboard. Accordion would be quite a bit larger. And these can be quite a bit larger. This is a tiny one. Like this was really made for kids. And this has buttons where an accordion would have a keyboard like a piano has. There'd be a keyboard to play. This is called, as was in the title, the concertina. This is a concertina, not an accordion. Instead of keys, you have buttons. And where the accordion, you play a key, you're going to get this note regardless of which direction you go. In the concertina, you get different notes. If I'm holding down this button and I go out, I get that note. When I go in, the note changes depending on which way I push the bag. In that respect, this is actually more like a harmonica. Harmonicas do that. So each button here has two notes depending on which way I move the bag. So these buttons up here, which on a larger concertina you would have more of them, these are your bass notes. These will add, so we have one note, but if I push this, I get a whole chord. And just like a harmonica, when I'm going out, which would be I get what we call a 5-7 chord. When I'm going in, I get what we call a 1 chord, the chord of a key. So this gives us the cadence that, that resolves music, 5 to 1. So these two buttons change what key that chord is in. As I say, on a larger one, you'd have more than two buttons. This black button is the bypass. Oops, if I lift that. Bypass just allows you to move it without making sound. All right, so let, let, let's see. As I say, I don't really play this. Let's see if we can, uh, let's see, it would be. All right, I'm going to try to play. Let's see. It's a little hard without practice. All right, let me, let, let's have some chords. Let's see. Not very good. Okay, we're ready. I'm fresh for a minute. Okay, that was pretty bad. That was supposed to be Mary Had a Little Lamb. Uh, I don't know if it sounded much like that at all. Trying to get the which direction to go for which note. Now, just random playing. So this is, again, not an accordion, but the concertina, concertina. And it does fit the category. I don't really know how to play it. I mean, technically, I know the concept, but I haven't really worked out how to get to the notes I need. So again, concertina. And we're only doing two today and probably from now on because I'm going through the instruments too fast. You know, there's only so many instruments. And I, I'm not one who has a lot of money to just keep buying more and more. So that will conclude today's episode. And with that conclusion, let's do one more commercial. 
which is uh, don't forget to check out our Newport News Parks, Recreation, and Tourism instructional programs, specifically the computer animation classes. We have piano classes, guitar and ukulele classes. Hope to see you there. Until then, and as always, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.